What's up, everybody, and welcome to the amazing game of Risk. I am Logan, aka Laser G, and today we're going to be going on a little bit of a shopping spree. We are playing on the Mall of the Dead. I have only played this map one or two times before, and it is absolutely insane. Take a look at the bonuses here. We've got plus 8, plus 10, plus 6, plus 9, plus 7, plus 6. Absolutely enormous, enormous bonuses. It tends to be pretty spawn dependent. I can already see one really, really impactful blizzard over here. Okay, we lose one there. Yeah, this is a one point over here on this plus four of grocers is basically acting like Australia, right, on that one point. I don't love our spawn at first blush. We kind of have troops all over the place, which is not really where you want to be. I think we've got a slow line for this plus six of music area, potentially. That's kind of the first thing that jumps out at me. I don't love it, though. Hmm. It might be our best option. It might just be our best option. I think we make a slow claim for that and try and get a card somewhere else. So let me put all of my troops there. And then we're going to try and get a card off of this. Slow roll it. Okay, and then we fail, but that's fine. Try and get a card off of this. And we get it. Okay, cool. End attack phase and fortify here. Consolidate our troops a little bit on the bottom. Make that into a four. Um, I don't like this start, as I said. I think black has a pretty solid start for the bridge. The bridge is really the gold mine here, right? The bridge is plus 10 if you can hold it. We see red putting in there. Red's got a seven. So this four is not safe where it is. Interesting. And they stop there and move this two out. Yep, yeah, makes sense. Okay, so we got to move our four back if possible. Show you guys the settings real quick. We are playing World Domination on the Mall of the Dead, Auto Setup, Expert AI, Progressive Cards, Balance Blitz Dice, Everybody's Welcome with Blizzards on. I think I'm going to try and take this either on the next turn or the turn after that. Tough, tough situation here. It's not the worst spawn, but it's certainly not the best spawn. This is a three point though, so it's going to be a little bit hard to hold. Hoping that red and purple get into a war over here. That's not a 100% roll, so we know that purple is not very good. Hmm. Curious to see which of purple or red gets this first. We're going to lose a lot of troops either way there, I think. Pink's going to go for this jackpot. Hopefully they clean it out and maybe I can steal it from them. That's actually a corner. Yeah, they just lost all of their troops doing that, so that was not a good play by pink. Maybe we get in position to steal that. Weird spot to add for black. I think black thought these connected and they don't. Does black not even have a card now? Yeah, black just fucked up. That doesn't actually connect. This map is very tricky. There's a lot of these deep dark corners, especially with blizzards. Very easy to make a mistake. Not 100% roll, but they get it there. Okay. Maybe I just threaten this attack. I kind of do like that in a way, to just threaten the attack, but we also do need to hit something. Hmm. I think I do hit purple out of there, because purple's gearing up to hit me. So let's do this. We have 12 territories, which is nice, so we get an extra troop. Hope for good dice on this roll. Okay, we get perfect dice. Maybe I do just take now. I think I'd try and take it now, just in case we're able to hold it. Not really going to guard. I'll guard with two threes, and then this is just going to stay a one. Hopefully no one focuses on me. Wonder if red chooses to break me. I think red wants to take their own bonus. We weren't able to fortify this four out. I decided I wanted to try and take, because on the off chance I'm able to hold this plus six, we have a huge advantage. So I decided to be a little bit risky. Red's going to add there and go for their own bonus. Hopefully they go north. Yeah, they do go north. That's what I thought. So we have another turn to move this four out of here. No, he's going to go 5v4. That's a bad roll. Yeah, he, he threatens it. I'm going to say thanks. Yeah, he wants me to move my four out. Cool. 
I'm gonna give him a little fist bump. Let's be friends, Red. Purple's gonna try and take their own bonus now, I think. By the way, guys, I know the posting frequency has slowed down a little bit. I've been having some family stuff going on, and, you know, I really appreciate your support sticking with me. Promise there's a lot more content coming up. If you guys have ideas for the kinds of maps you want to see, kinds of settings you want to see, if you want me to experiment with games beyond risk, let me know in the comments. I'm very, very open to your ideas, and thank you once again for your support. If you like this kind of video, please do consider subscribing. Really helps me out. We just passed 600 subs, which I'm excited about, so... Thanks, and more content coming soon. We see Pink once again adding into this bonus. They're going to get a card off of me here, which takes me below 15 territories. Don't love that. Don't think Pink is playing particularly well. They're at 12 territories, and Purple's at 12, so we might want to hit them to lower them. Looks like we're going to hold, which is awesome. Not going to get too greedy here. Yeah, I'm not going to get too, too greedy here. I'm just going to guard a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, I think we just keep guarding a bit. Uh, and we'll think about where our card is in a second. Make this like a three. Make this a five. Uh, where's our card? I think this four maybe gets a card. Maybe we get a card off of this. Okay, I like that. Uh, see if we can get this card. We can't. Okay, and let's try this 4v2 actually. Okay, we fail that, brutal. So I'm gonna do this, and then end attack phase and remove my 4. So we're just gonna keep this 4 in the corner. I don't think red's gonna hit that. Throw red a little fist bump. Red should very much like that I did that. I backed off of their bonus. Unfortunate that we missed a card in so many places. I didn't really want to have to split there and be too aggressive to black. It does lay a claim for the bridge, but I'm actually not very interested in taking the bridge and making myself such a big target. Okay. So we see red. Looks like they're going to take. Cool. They take their bonus. Let's see if black lets them hold next to them. They might not. We'll see what kind of good neighbor or bad neighbor game this is in a second. That's a very big move. I think this is also a plus six, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, entrance is a plus six. Purple's going to take their own bonus, and they're going to hope to be good neighbors over here. We did take our bonus a turn earlier than everyone else, which is huge. We could break red without really fearing retaliation. Oh, purple actually didn't take their bonus. I still have this one over here. Interesting. Again, don't really think pink knows what they're doing. Pink's adding in a lot of different places, and this isn't really a multi-positional map. Does black break or take? Looks like takes. Hits my four. That's not 100% roll. But he gets it. I think these guys will inevitably fight, right? Hard for me to imagine these guys being good neighbors. Unfortunate that we lose the four. Honestly, maybe I do take this because pink is blocked now. Hard to figure how we get broken. Hmm. I think I almost take it, right? Almost take it and then make sure these are really solid borders. Yeah, I like that play. Let's do this. Okay. And then we'll guard here. So we're laying a claim to this, right? No one can go behind us here. Potentially take it on the next turn. We'll see how we're feeling. Don't want to be too, too threatening, but at the same time, I don't think anyone's really in position to mess with us right now, unless they want to ruin their game. And I'm figuring that these guys have a lot to worry about, right? Taking bonuses next to each other while I just kind of quietly take the top. Interesting, Red's over here. Wonder if Red's going to try and take this bonus? No, they're going to go for this Australia over there. Interesting. Yeah, I think they get it, although this is not 100% here. This 5v2 is like 91%, I think. They get perfect dice, though. So I'm going to go, wow. 
Interesting. Okay, I think they hold that. Unless I break them now. Everyone says well played. Looks like a kind of good neighbor style game. Purple's going to take their bonus. Very interesting stuff. If I'm going to break red, now would be the time, and I would need to fully remove them. But I don't know that that's the play. Pink is almost dead. So we want to be lined up to kill pink, potentially. Very curious what black does now. Black's getting plus 11, I think they break. Right? Break red? Red's holding too much. You don't want this guy to be that strong on your border, I'm imagining. Although they have played pretty passively so far. Do we see it? We do see the break. Let's go shocked face. Good to know. Black is a breaker. Okay, I don't necessarily want to get too aggressive right now. We get plus 10 again. Hmm. Tricky. We could also set... Only four, though. I think we're lining up to kill pink, potentially, on our next turn. Interesting. I don't really think we need to do all that much right now. Yeah, I think I just do this, maybe? Yeah, I think I just hit this, too. But not take. Right? We don't want to attract too much attention right now. So let's do that and bring this three here. Cool. I like this. I'm feeling very secure in my position, and we're not attracting too much attention because I didn't take the bridge. Another thing I could do is back off of this position when we take the bridge. That's not a terrible play, right? Basically just switch bonuses and not even guard this one at all. In fact, I kind of like that, because I don't really think anyone will be in position to break me. Interesting that red doesn't break black. They didn't really have enough juice to break black, um, but I think black just breaks you again, right? Hopefully pink doesn't trade in and we can kill pink. Pathing will make this very hard, right? We gotta go pop, 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 in here, split, here, split, split, but I think we can do it. Pink probably does trade on four, though, because I don't think pink is very good. Like, they probably... Okay, so there's a couple levels of thinking, right? If they're really bad, they trade because they have a trade. If they're medium, then they probably don't trade, thinking that it's bad to set early. And if they're really good, they probably know I'm lining up to kill them and trade. So, hard to say what they do. At the very least, hoping that they don't trade in. They do. They get the four, though. So, they're still very weak, right? They go from having the best trade to the worst trade. And with a five-player game, the trades actually matter a little bit less because they increase in size a little bit more slowly. Okay, black trades in. They're going to break red again. Cool. Okay, so that red-black war continues like we thought. Hmm. Interesting what I do now. So black is open to going this way, but they're currently blocked by the seven. So we set in first of all. I think I do want to switch to the bridge now. Uh, and remove black. I like the idea of removing black. So what do we need here? Pink doesn't have a trade. So pink actually can't really do much about that. Yeah, I think I do this. Okay, so we're going to hit two times. Hit there. Hit here. We can actually stay there, I think. End our attack phase. And then I think I move this three here. Okay, pretty strong position now, right? We're holding plus 16 right now. So we're definitely inviting people to try and hit us, but I think red has bigger problems. 
give red a little fist bump. I think they have bigger problems, like I said. They're going to hit black, and then black's going to be dealing with red. And pink is really weak. And purple's not in an amazing position to hit me, right? And they've been pretty passive. Like, they can break me here for sure. But I kind of doubt they break both. Very curious what purple does. Purple's really the only person who can address me, unless black wants to, like, full suicide into me, which would be surprising. And then on our turn, we have lines on both black and pink. Do I have a set? I don't have a set. Okay. Purple trades. Give purple a little fist bump here. Might backfire, right? Might make him look at me. Curious how purple plays this. They probably don't want to make a mortal enemy, and they can't really easily break me on the bridge. Because they have to go through the 10 here. Looks like they might do it, though. Okay, they're just going to take this for themselves, I guess. Interesting. Don't really understand that play from purple. I think they had to address me there, and they didn't. Pink might be realizing that they're dead. Because the value of the trade right now is 15. And they're going to be on three cards, so it's basically worth it to kill them. Black is also almost dead. Curious what black does now, hoping they don't have a trade. They do have a trade, so we can't kill black. Are they going to full sue into me, or are they going to keep going into red? I think red. Yeah, they're going into red, because they're fighting with red. Yeah, black just single-mindedly focused on red right now, which is very good. And I think now we do kill pink. Which is going to attract a lot of attention, right? But kind of is what it is. Um, and then we set again. Yeah, I think we have to kill pink right now. So, nice. 36 stack. Um... Oh, shit, that doesn't connect. Damn, I think I messed that up. Uh, oops. Yeah, I think I can't get in there, right? How does the, how do you even get in there? I think you can only get in there that way. Yeah, oops. Okay, I fucked that up. Is what it is. Pink's not gonna like me now. Hopefully they don't have a trade. Pathing is very difficult. It's really hard to see that these don't connect. Red sets in, that's just going to go straight into black. Maybe they actually kill black right now. Black says well played. Yeah, these guys are just killing each other. I don't think he gets it, though. This pathing is so hard. Like, he has to make so many splits, I think he actually is going to run out of juice. But it'll be close. Yeah, that's not actually enough, because you have to split in two different directions. See, look. Yeah, it. the pathing is so hard on this map. Yeah, that's not going to happen. I mean, black's almost dead, though, so maybe I can kill black now. If pink doesn't have a trade, I think I can chain together the black kill and the pink kill. This only connects... You can only get to Inatech support from Business Square, which was the mistake I made. Tricky stuff. I think black probably bots out from this. Question is, is pink good enough to try and kill black this way? Probably not, and they might not even have enough if they don't have a trade. A lot depends on them not having a trade here. Okay, this is nonsense. Purple should have gone straight into me and broken me. Instead, they go for the red kill, it looks like, and red only has one card. So I don't think this is a good play. Maybe he's going for this bonus, but I don't think that's a good play either. I'm the real threat on the board right now because of how much I'm holding. I'm getting so many. I'm getting plus 21 a turn, I believe, right now. Maybe plus 22 now that I have more territory. Okay, they're going for the black kill. But black only has one card. No, they're not. They're trying to take that bonus. 
Confusing turn again from purple. I don't think purple is very good. Please don't have a trade pink. Please don't have a trade pink. Ooh, I really am hoping they don't. And now it'll be actually much more profitable. Do I have a set? I do. Okay. Nice. And they're going to open me this way, which is really good. Nice. Yeah, weaken yourself. Perfect. Okay. Open. Sure, they, they're just going to open me. That's actually quite helpful. Not going to lie, I'm pretty nervous about getting this pathing right, <laughs> but I think we'll be able to manage it this time. I've learned that this doesn't connect in the way that I thought it did. Black is still here? No, black's a bot. Okay, so we're going to get the black kill for two cards. That's very good. Okay, here we go. Big turn. So, set. And then, I think we go off of this, actually. Yeah. So let's go as far as we can with this one. Actually, we just hit that, I think. Let's try not to mess this up this time. In here, that's a four. Then in here, leave a four in there, actually. Oh my god, I can't get that still. Okay, no, we need to kill black first. Okay, we get the black kill. Oh my god, I messed up the connection again. That is so tricky. Okay, but we actually don't set in from that. So pink's going to set in again, which is very bad. So we need to consolidate now, unless I can kill someone else. Yeah, whoopsies. Knock red out of there. End attack phase. Uh, I can potentially card block, but I think I want to do this. Let's do that. I'm going to get broken in the bridge. I would rather just consolidate and let pink break me. That is so tricky, guys. This only connects to this territory of walkway top one. I have messed that up so many times now. I mean, we're really strong, right? We're really, really strong, but pink hates me now. Yeah, he's going to break me. Well played. Gets the pink kill. Yep. Well played. Come on, let's be friends. Uh, he's uh, he's trading in his cards right now, so when he comes back, we're going to give him a fist bump. I cannot believe I messed that up twice. I need more practice on this map, clearly. Come on, hit purple. Purple is the one who fucked you up. Hit purple. It looks like he's going to hit purple. Nice. Cool. Well played. Alright, these guys are just helping me win. What a ridiculous game, dude. This is one of the worst games I've played in a long time. I have failed the pink kill twice. I mean, I got the black kill, so I shouldn't be too, too hard on myself. But yeah, these guys fighting has been very helpful. I'm just staying out of trouble. Not breaking anyone. Red's going to take that bonus, or at least try to take that bonus. I think they run out of juice, though. Yeah, they actually don't have enough. Really bad turn from red. Leaves purple with a lot. I'm not going to give purple a fist bump because I gave red a fist bump, but hopefully purple and red keep fighting. I haven't been aggressive to purple at all. No reason for me to do anything, actually, on my turn. All I need to do is line up to kill red. Right? All I need to do is line up on the red kill, which is easier said than done, obviously. Okay, where's purple getting their card? Cool. Breaks me? Okay, interesting. I'm not even going to say oops. That is what it is. Uh, yeah, I think I trade here. Might as well. Just be safe. Uh, so we're going to be lining up on red right now. Um, I don't even know that we honestly need to retake, but I guess I will just retake. Do I even want to retake is the question. I think I like having this open, to be honest. Um, yeah, I like having that be open. So let's just do this and then add 
that's enough to clear out red from there. So this needs to be everything else, I think. Yeah, let's do this. Um, next phase. Attack this way. And then end attack phase. Pull in the 20. Just make a huge ass stack right there. This does connect, right? This this is a connection point. So we actually are open now. Red sets. Red's going to go really hard into me. No, they go really hard into purple, right? Because purple broke them. Cool. So they're going to take their bonus and then they're going to hit purple. Hopefully we see 71 go this way and hit the 36. He is slow, but I think he has time to get there. It's unfortunate that red had the set on three because we were going to kill them. But I think it kind of doesn't matter because I think they're going to hit the 36 and feed us the game. Very much expect this to happen. Yep. Very predictable. Saw that coming a mile away. They're going to leave seven here. Eight. And take that. Purple decided to break me even though red was obviously in a vendetta with them. Permanent vendetta with them. And then they're not even going to give themselves time to fortify. Classic noob. Okay, now purple doesn't have anything. So purple has a very, very limited ability to do anything about that. Uh, and we will be killing purple on the next turn, assuming I don't fuck it up again. Let's figure out how these connect before I make another horrible mistake. How do I get to kitchen? I have to go through Cyberdyne Shwarma, great name for a restaurant, to get to the kitchen. So we need to be very careful with those splits. Yeah, I need to be very, very careful. Purple skipped a card, which is interesting. I think I kill them anyway, though. Because it's 50. I think I kill them anyway and go into a 1v1 with red. I like that play. All right, let's go fast here. Um, so four in that way. That's what you get for breaking me, purple. Okay, and then we need to go this way. So this needs to be 11, I believe is 100%. Okay. Uh, yeah, and then we hit through red. Wow, this is tricky. Oh my god, the kills are complicated on this map. Jesus Christ. Okay, and then we gotta hit red as hard as we can right now. Uh, oh, those don't connect. Frustrating. Uh, here's... Okay, cool. We didn't hit red very hard, but we have five cards and red is really slow, so I think it's over. Not gonna say good game yet, because I don't want him to realize how desperate this is. Wow, this is a hard map, guys. I definitely need to practice this a few times. I was like, okay, I, I did a practice round on this map. I'm good to go. I'm good to make a video about this. And, uh, nope. Only won this game because we were playing with some newer players, I'm pretty sure. But hope you enjoy it. I mean, this was a really, really fun game. I, I love this map. I think this map is super interesting because even though it's progressive, it plays more like a fixed game. Yeah, Red's hitting me. That's fine. They open me this way. So Red's all in one connected pocket. Oh, this is a blizzard. That's why I couldn't go in that way. Okay, I really messed this up. I mean, that was hidden behind this, too. Very, very tricky stuff. Okay, so we can only get in that way, I guess. Wow, tough. All right, so set. Um, And then we'll go in that way and just punch him as hard as I possibly can. Yeah, I like that plan. That actually does connect. Oh my god, crazy. And then we can loop around this way. Do those connect? No, they don't. Okay. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. So many corners. So many corners. Jesus. Um, yeah. Then this. And then, can I make any other attacks? I guess do that. Um, we still left him with a bonus, but I think it's okay. End attack phase. Move this here. Okay, I think he's done. He has two cards. We have 171 troops, so now I am going to say good game. 
Holy cow, are there a lot of corners on this map. I don't think Red could win this game unless you gave him like 10 turns to do it. I have made so... I, I cannot remember a game when I've made this many mistakes. Like, this Blizzard not connecting and putting my stack there, that was an egregious mistake. But everyone else just makes even bigger mistakes than you, so you don't really have to worry about it. Red connects up this pocket, which is good. So there is one pocket of red, two pockets of red, and then three pockets of red. This is absolutely plenty to get this pocket unless I fuck it up again. So we need to add here and we need to add here. Cool, we get plus 28, so I think that's game. Uh, if we go in this way, that needs to be like 17, 16. Then add here, should be enough, maybe, we'll see. A lot of splitting. Um, that actually doesn't connect to anything. Wow, is this complicated. Okay, this goes that way. Holy Christ. Um, do we get them? I think we do, right? Nice. Oh my god. Alright. <laughs> Stressful. Good game. Let's go. Feels good. Alright. Don't try this at home, kids. That was, uh, that was not a textbook win by any stretch, but we do manage to get it done. Please go easy on me in the comments. I know I made a lot of mistakes in this game. We were playing against a lot of novices and beginners. Pink was an intermediate. Interesting, I thought Pink was the worst player. But um, yeah, weird, weird map. I really like it. Very curious to hear what you guys think about this. If you guys like this video, throw me a like, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next episode, and I will see you all there.